everybody and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Amanda and I make mummy lifestyle videos. And today I've got the first Primark haul of 2020. I did one last year that was really, really popular with loads of wind bits and bobs. And this weekend I went to the Primark at the Fort near Birmingham and picked up some bits and bobs that I needed. And it was the first time I've been in Primark for absolutely ages. So it was really, really lovely to go along and see what they had in stock. I guess this is probably like the end of the summer stuff and then in August you'll start to find all of the autumn winter stuff start coming in. But I managed to get some nice summer bits and some bits for me and some bits for the girls as well. So I'll crack right on and show you what I got. Oh, got this huge bag full of stuff. So I'm just gonna dig in and get straight into it. Okay, the first thing I bought is I got each of the girls a pair of these flip-flops. I think they're really good. Um, they are 90p. You just can't get around for 90p in Primark, can you, for flip-flops? And um, I really like that they come with the kind of elasticated bit on the back so it holds their feet in place. So we've got some unicorn ones for Emily and Jessica wanted these. Um, what are they? Flamingos, flamingos. I'm finding now that I can't just pick up anything I want for the guys, I have to actually ask them. So when I was in Primark, I was sort of video calling Stu and sending messages back and forwards to check which ones they want. Because there's just no point me buying anything that I like. They have to choose themselves now. The next thing I bought was this really lovely set of pajamas. I'll insert a clip and of what I've looked like wearing it. But I really love these um, PJs. They're really, really soft. Slightly silky, but not silk, if you know what I mean. And um, I got them in a small, which is a 10 to 12 in Primark, which I find is a really nice size for them. It fits me really nicely, not too tight. And the bottoms were six pounds. Um, they don't have, they have, so they do have a cuffed bottom, which I also like. Six pounds for the, the, the bottoms, and then you could buy there was about three different colours. I think there was yellow, a mint and a pink. The mint looked really, really lovely with this, but if you know me, I'm always going to go for the yellow. So I went for the yellow, it had a little, it has a little pocket. I went for a small again, which is a 10 to 12, and these were three pounds. So I picked up those nice lightweight summer PJs. And the next thing I bought was for myself was a pair of summer shorts. I'm not a big fan of shorts generally, but I find I really like to have a pair of maybe just in the garden when the girls have got water out and they're kind of leaping around and then we're gonna get wet and things. Or just like of an evening, I quite like to wear a pair of shorts. Like I don't really have many like other sort of shorts. So these are quite nice. They've got this kind of paper bag top and a tie. I got them in a size 12 because I wanted them to be extra comfy and not, not too tight around the waist and they were a five us. And the next thing I bought, which I, I'm going to be interested to see what this looks like on, I just was really, really drawn to it in the shop and they only had a size eight or a size 14. So I'm really hoping that it's going to fit me. If not, it's going back. So I'm going to try this on. Um, it's basically a dress with shorts and then a very long, ah, hello, a very long skirt. So I'll try it and have a look and see what it's like. But I just thought it looked really, really nice. It has this off the shoulder top, which I really like the look of as well. And like I said, I bought it in eight, so that's gonna be pushing it for me, but it was 15 pounds. And I just thought it was worth having a gamble and see if it fits me. The next thing I bought that was for me was a pair of these sandals. I really like the neutral, the kind of a rattan style, which I think is just going to go with everything. I wear a lot of brightly coloured clothes and dresses, especially in the summertime, and I always find I don't have shoes that are going to go with them nicely, so I thought these are going to be perfect. They are an extra wide fit and they're extra comfort, so they've got a nice soft sole, and the sole is quite thick, which I quite like as well. I got them in a size 6, and they were £8, so those are really nice. I think they're going to go really nice with that dress as well. And picked myself up a set of these three wireless, are they called bralettes? I've had something similar to these before, but I've never had ones where they've got removable cups and I'm a little bit skeptical. Sometimes those bras and bralettes that come with removable cups, removable cups just move all over the place. So it'll be interesting to see what these are like, but I thought these would be really nice in summer underneath vests and things where 
kind of to make a statement of the fact that you can see it rather than trying to hide bra straps and black's always handy goes with everything and I've got a lot of like this mustard colour and a lot of coral as you can tell I'm wearing right now so these are going to go these are going to work out for me this summer and then moving into oh no I have one more thing for me that was a pair of navy leggings my navy leggings have just gone a bit saggy at the knee and just a bit bit stretched and things so I thought I'd get myself a new pair these are high-waisted ones which I always wear mine under dresses or tunics and things like that so these are a small they're four pounds they were and oh a few little accessories dig into my bag dig into my bag I bought this really nice set of necklaces which I thought are really lovely. They've got all the my kinds of colours in, so the teals and the multicolours. I really like this golden one that's got like a little bee. I don't know if you can see. It's got a bee on the bottom. And I thought they'd be really nice for like layering. I don't very often layer necklaces. I do like to wear necklaces, but I don't often layer necklaces. So I thought these would be quite nice to wear a couple of necklaces at once. And they were three pounds for that set. I also saw somebody say that Primark nail varnish is pretty good, and I've had Primark nail varnish. Blah I've had Primark nail varnish before and didn't really rate it. But the person who I saw that said about it was said this gel one. So I've picked up. It is in colour blush. We'll see. I'm going to test it out. See if I like it. But looks like a nice colour. They only had this and one other colour in stock when I went in, so I thought I'd give it a try. I also picked up a pack of these bubbles, more for me than the girls. I just need bubbles when I'm doing a workout or need to just chuck my hair up. So a pound for three, six, nine, twelve. And then three things for the girls. Emily really, really wanted some short dungarees she's been living in her long dungarees she wants to be a farmer and has decided this is the outfit of a farmer and so she wanted some short dungarees um so they had a couple of different stars i think these were the, the more plain versions i but i really like them they they're um, i think they're going to be perfect for what she wants and they were i can't see a label oh eight pounds there we go and then I picked up this dress. This is in a five to six, which is a really cute dress. It's exactly what I would think I would wear if they had this in my size, so I'd quite happily wear that. It's got some little pockets and the little tortoise shell buttons going all the way down the front, which are, are they real? I think they might be. Please don't tell me they're real all the way down. <laughs> wearing it like a cardigan, they will. Oh yeah, I think they all open. <laughs> there you go. Um, then finally, I picked up this final jumpsuit, which I thought was really pretty. Again, something I would wear myself in a five to six, and this was also eight pounds. So that's the last thing I picked up. And that was everything. I really thought they had quite a lot of good stuff in, and I enjoyed having a walk around. When I first got in there, there was quite... A big queue to get in about 10 minutes it took us to get in and when we first got in we kind of got funneled to the left and within a few minutes I really was starting to panic that they were overcrowding the shop and it was quite busy but as soon as you moved away from that first section there was plenty of space and I found that as long as you are turning away from people and giving people space and taking your time it was easy enough to social distance in Primark and um, it was fine so I, I found it okay in Primark in the one we went to at the fort. I really hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, don't forget to click the heart button down below or give it a thumbs up. And I'd love to you to subscribe and I'll catch you next time for more videos coming your way soon. Bye.